Hi, I'm Paul Wilson from Epson UK. I'm here with Midwich TV, 20 questions, the Tech Expo edition. There we go. Cool. That'll do. Yeah. <laughs> Have a drink now. So I'm the UK business manager for high brightness projectors and professional home cinema. I've been at Epson since July 2010, so just over 13 years now. Yes, one of the longest serving members these days. Pretty much at Epson, I have to say, you know, I had a few different jobs, uh, this and that, and a bit of traveling beforehand, but Epson gave me my first big break as a proper job and just built up my knowledge ever since. Other than the food, we love the food, the food vans are a great addition. Last year in the rain, not so good. Um, but really I think it's just getting that chance to catch up with a lot of people that you do know uh, within Midwich as well as our customer base, but also trying to find those few interesting new customers that you've not dealt with before and making those connections. Depends if I'm doing setup or, or just on the, the show days. I think um, a few basics, tape measure, uh, business cards, notebook, those are the key parts. Camera phone ready to go, get a few snaps for the socials. Uh, those are the things that I try and make sure I remember each time. And yeah, business cards definitely an important one. Even in the, the modern world, you've got to have that little handover, make that connection. We've got three very exciting products to show, but probably the most exciting in many ways is the EB810E. So it's a super ultra short throw product. I like to call it extreme short throw as well. Um, sits right underneath your image position and cast an image up to 160 inch diagonal, 5,000 lumens, full HD, 4K enhancement, everything, all the tricks in one box and quite a revolutionary type of projector. I think everyone just about would say in person for this. We had some good virtual events and some not so good virtual events in COVID times, but we've all enjoyed being back out here, showing off the products and, and seeing everyone in person. It's, uh, it's a no-brainer, really. It, it's probably pretty obvious, but smartphone, that's the one that we're probably all glued to these days. You, you kind of twitch after a few seconds if you're not engaged with it. Um, whether it's just, yeah, looking on the socials, running my dog's Twitter account, um, keeping up to date with the football scores. Yeah, that's the one part. Everything else you could just about put aside, but smartphone, that's your world in your pocket. Hopefully it's an easy one to remember. We are stand number one, straight on the left as you walk in. So I believe we were part of the founding um, partners of Tech Expo, so we've been involved ever since it started, obviously a couple of years out for everyone during COVID, but yeah, aside from that, we're here every year. We are hopefully familiar faces to most people. I guess it's been great to see the event evolve over those years as well. Yeah, Ascot, away from Ascot, back to Ascot. Um, these things go in circles, but yeah, it's, it's certainly grown as an event as well. We've grown up in terms of what we're capable of showing off in, in such a space as well. So it's gone from a couple of trestle tables and tablecloths to something quite a lot more impressive these days. Yeah, I think it's the connections. That can be hard to measure at times. It doesn't always mean an immediate sale, um, but there's certainly connections we make at these events that over a period of time become very important to us but it's also a chance to showcase certain products as well. You know, we've got such a big range of products, there's always new kit launching, so having an opportunity to see lots of people in one place and pick and choose from the portfolio which products we want to show off and, and how we want to showcase them, uh, it's a, a really nice opportunity for us to do that. I think it's early days. I think certainly we need to look at the, the limits of AI. Um, but in terms of its usefulness, what it might be able to achieve in, in fields like medicine, I think we have to say you know, we're in favour of it. We've been in favour of all technologies gradually over time, sometimes a little bit sceptical at first, but generally as a society we embrace technology and, and I think we'll do the same for AI. But like anything, you've just got to watch a little bit how far it goes.
Yeah, so I think projection is really interesting because it's been around for a long time now, but it does keep evolving very, very quickly. And I think there's different trends depending on where projection is used. Um, and, and certainly the products we'll have on show this year will, will demonstrate that. So whether that's very, very compact products with a lot of capability, uh, wireless networking uh, for easy content sharing on board, uh, the EB810E where you've got this incredible short throw ratio to be able to fill a very large image in small spaces with a, a really high quality, bright, sharp, high resolution image. I think that's keeping up with the demands for image quality that people want to see. And then finally, we'll have our 20K projector, which really showcases the demand for rental products where you can pack a real punch, but in a unit that's pretty much a, a single person lift. So the back end of that, the logistics is, is really easy and you can still get incredible big screen images. I am an Android user, very much so. I've once had a work phone that was Apple, but everything else, work phones aside from that, and all my personal tablets phones, always been Android, and I don't see that changing. I think it depends on the meeting, predominantly on. Um, if you're in a much larger meeting where I don't have to comment or present, then generally the camera is going to go off because you're not necessarily focusing as much on what you're doing and you'd rather not do anything embarrassing on camera. So I think for Epson, you know, ever since our first three LCD projectors in 1989, that is the technology that we've stuck with within every single unit. So that's pretty unique to use our own self-developed three LCD technology for bright, vibrant colors in products that are incredibly effective at an affordable price. Um, and just the incredible variety of projectors that that allows us to produce for all sorts of different arenas from home cinema to high brightness to schools, education, short throw, interactive, every type of projector we can make, but based on that one core Epson technology. Do I already have it or not? I think I'm fortunate in my position that I get to borrow products from time to time. Um, particularly from our home cinema range, uh, being able to throw up a massive image far bigger than my TV and most people's TVs, uh, onto a wall, onto your screen at home, watch a cup final, watch a, a cool movie. I watched Avatar sequel recently at home on our EH LS 12000B, top of the range home cinema projector, 4K, and it makes an incredible difference to landmark movies like that, that you just, maybe you missed it in the cinema, but being able to see it at home on a big screen, um, in, the, in the comfort of your own space, your own affordable popcorn, um, it, it's a great experience. It's a great way to, to use the products and, and fall in love with them a little bit and really appreciate the benefits of projection. Nothing to big screen does it? No. Movies, sports, gaming, whatever your thing is, but being that bit more immersive on the big screen is phenomenal. So this year we're trying to do things a little bit differently. Um, we're anticipating using an ALR screen with the EB810E. So that's something I don't think we've generally done at Tech Expo before. And that's a wonderful combination of projection technology, but also the screen on which you use it. And it's important at times not to overlook both of those elements and, and the two technologies coming together really produce an image that we think is quite remarkable and, and has really turned heads at previous demonstrations. Um, on top of that, we're looking at doing a large screen portrait style projection as well, which again, we, is not something we've really done at Tech Expo before. So it's just looking at how we can show off the kit in different ways, in, in ways that maybe catch people's attention as they're walking past a bit more. So it's, yeah, more the format in which we'll use the projectors this year that will hopefully be quite interesting. So I think this year, good reason to visit the stand is the first opportunity really to come and get up close in the UK with the EB810E in front of a big crowd. It's a product that's only just launched for sales literally this month, so it's, it's brand new. It's there for everyone to come and have a look at. And it's a product that we think can kind of revolutionize how old short throw projectors are used because they've traditionally been a tool for the classroom. This is a product that screams corporate all over it. The connectivity, the incredible short throw, 0.16 to one throw ratio. We're gonna pair it with an ALR screen. The image quality is gonna be magnificent. So come and have a look at it up close and, and really be wowed, be impressed. 
So Epson, in three words, certainly in terms of our technology, I would say compact, precise, and efficient. Fantastic. Thank you very much, Paul. That is two questions. No problem. Good to be here. That was 20 questions, the Tech Expo edition. Come and visit Epson UK, stand number one at this year's Tech Expo Ascot Racecourse, 13th and 14th September. Woohoo! Brilliant, we're all done then, Paul. Easy peasy. Relax. Have a wander around there. Make, make the most of being there. Hi, I'm Paul Wilson from Epson UK. I'm here with Midwich TV. <laughs> Tweevy. This will be the bit that you have to do about 10 takes. Huh? Yep, so I'm the business manager for Epson UK, looking after uh, <laughs> I have to remember the dates because I can't make it this year. I've got to have surgery that week, so I can't come, which is terrible because I always come.